All right, welcome back to Autodesk Maya. In this tutorial, we're going to go over some of the tools in the tool palette here. Primarily, the selection tools, the top here. We'll see the transform tools, the move, rotate, and scale for another tutorial. And uh, before we get to the selection tools, I want to cover just what's going on down below here. Uh, the M is basically a link to uh, an external web browser. So when you click on this, it'll open up some web browser to uh, the help menu under the help form of Maya. So you can do that if you want to search for something. Uh, these little icons here, of course, are for your main viewport here going from the uh, 3D view versus the 4 view here. Uh, you can also do a split 2 view here. Uh, you can go back and forth between these two, uh, of course, just by tapping spacebar, moving your view into any or cursor in any view, tap spacebar to maximize that view. Uh, let's go over these selection tools now, these top three ones here. Uh, the, we're going to cover the first one here, uh, and it has a hotkey of Q. So uh, if you do have another tool selected, you can just hit the Q key, and that, tool, that key uh, tool will be selected. The select tool basically just selects things. So if I click on an object, you can see here in the, chat, the outliner what object is being selected as I click. Um, as I click here, if I hold the shift key, I can select more than one object. And you'll see the last object selected is the green one. Uh, so if I click here, hold the shift key, hold the shift key, again, the last one is the green sort of outline here. Um, this tool, you can also do it in different ways. You can um, drag what's called a marquee selection. So if I drag over two objects, if I drag over three, I have all three. Now with all three selected, say I want to deselect one of them. Well, I could hold the shift key and then I'll do it or bring it back. Uh, another way to do it, if I just want to deselect something, is hold the control key. So if I hold the control key, like I deselected those two, hold the shift key and I have that one selected. So again, shift will add or deselect something. And then if you want to completely deselect something only, just hold control and that will deselect. Okay, uh, each of these tools here, if you double click, they have tool options. And if you double click on them, they'll pop up in a window. Mine popped up another monitor here, the tool settings here. Uh, you can also access them, let me close out here, by clicking on this little widget here. It looks like a little hammer icon. If you click on that, you get the same tool settings here. So with this tool selected here, you'll see we have a couple of different options here. Uh, we have um, common selection options here we have soft selection and then symmetry settings. So the first grouping uh, basically has to do with how it selects. So the marquee type selection, which again is the way I'm dragging here. If we choose the, uh, the drag selection, you'll see it doesn't really look different right now, except that there's a little circle here. In order to see this properly, you have to go into what's called component mode. And now as I drag, it's kind of like painting across the, the frame here. Um, to select things. Notice as I drag across here, it's not selecting on the other side. However, if we switch to marquee select, click out to deselect, and then drag a marquee selection, you'll notice that the faces on the other side have been selected. So um, if you check this little box next to marquee, it says camera based selection. What that'll do is prevent you from selecting to the other side. So if I click out and deselect, and I just select inside here, you'll notice it doesn't select on the other side. However, if I uncheck that, click out, and then again, do that same thing, select some in here, you'll notice it goes to the other side. So that's a little useful little checkbox there to kind of figure out whether or not you want to go through or, or not. Um, there's some other options here. Uh, basically, these ones I kind of just leave checked, but they just highlight the back faces, highlight nearest component. So as I'm moving around here, you basically get this highlighted sort of um, uh, little red box, but you know, if I go into vertex mode, it's going to do the same thing. It'll select the vertex uh, or highlight the one I'm closest to. Same with the edge, as you can see here. So let's go back to faces again. I'm just right clicking, holding the mouse down, and you get this little whip and go into face mode to do that. Um, soft select, let's see what soft select's all about. If I click on a face here, uh, and I actually try and move it with the move tool here. 
uh, you'll see that we basically get sort of one point of action, which is that face there. If I turn on soft select though, which it also is in the move tool it's settings, it's the same as the uh, select settings. So if we click on this, you can see it here. Um, if I select it and then open up and check that little box, soft select, you'll see an area of influence. And this area of influence basically gives you essentially what it what it sounds like, a softer selection. So it's kind of like making it more like a rubber band or a bouncing ball in a way. Um, this allows you to have less uh, jagged sort of selection points. It's great for modeling and for characters, anything organic basically. Uh, you can access and move between soft select and regular select just by hitting the B key. So you'll notice now soft select and went away and I hit the B key and it's back. Now to change the area of influence, which is this little slider here, which is this radius, the fall off radius, uh, you can do that by holding down B and left clicking with a mouse. So um, let me do it again. I'm sorry, middle clicking with a mouse. Uh, I don't know why I thought left. <laughs> It's been a while since I've used soft select, uh, but it's middle click button down. Again, left, uh, you have to hold the B key and then middle mouse down. And that's just like dragging this. You just don't see it interactively when you drag this little guy here, but if you hold B and middle mouse, uh, whoops, hold B and middle mouse uh, drag, you'll see that selection that uh, appears. Now, um, there is some differences in this uh, fall off here, you can click and drag and change this. And what it'll do is it'll give you like uh, sort of a harder or softer sort of selection. And if we move this up a little bit, you can see here uh, this color little swatch area. What that represents, let me uh, drag this down and bring it up. There we go. Uh, this little color swatch area this uh, just represents the fall off. So the yellow is the strongest area of selection and then it falls off to the, the darker area which has the least amount of influence. These little colors you can click in here and change whatever color you want. You, know, you can click on the red and change it to a different color. I'm gonna leave it to where it's at here. There are some presets here that you can play around with these curves to adjust the fall off which is kind of interesting. And you can get some really weird kind of effects uh, as you can see pulling up you can see how it's like pinching in a couple areas here. So, um, you know, where this area is a little bit more smooth as one whole like larger mountain. Notice uh, the direction that this is coming out basically has to do with um, the tool settings. If I scroll up here, it's set to the world view. If I switch this to component view, it'll now go out in the normal direction. So this is a little bit more natural for me to manipulate this little guy here. Um, notice this area here where it says volume. There's volume and surface. These are the two main ones. The other two really don't have um, the global. I mean, the object just basically selects the entire object. And the global um, is very similar to volume here. But um, I kind of want to explain the difference between volume and surface here. So you're not going to notice it with this object, but let's click on this object go right click to face mode and click on a face here. Again, you can see soft select is on again. I'm going to hit B key to remove it and then hit B again to add it. And again, if I hold B and then middle click mouse, you can see that area of influence as it grows. So I'm going to grow it out a little bit to about there. Right now it's at a surface. So what surface does is it basically can, it's the areas that's connected to this selection here. Notice if I switch this to volume, how that influence has gone out to these other sort of tentacle areas. So as I drag up or down, you'll see it's influencing those other sort of segments. So a certain geometry, you don't want that to happen. So you would change the option here from volume to surface. And now I can adjust this one little digit, if you want to think of it that way, without affecting the others. So pretty cool little things here. So that's how um, the soft select works in this selection tool here. Uh, the other two tools, the lasso tool and the paintbrush tool, I'll show you how these guys work. Um, they're pretty pretty straightforward. Let's click on, let's select this object here and go out of soft select for a moment here. But basically the lasso tool, the way it works, if I click out, as I draw a selection, uh, basically it goes all the way through to select organic sort of larger areas. And it's really great for sort of component selection. 
again if you want to you know use your soft select you can do that and influence it however much you want there um, let's show another one let's show the paintbrush one how that one works now if I click out or first deselect everything then click on the paintbrush the paintbrush basically allows you to paint in these different little areas now it's it's a little trickier with faces it doesn't want to quite paint as well so I'm gonna right click and go to vertex it works a little better with vertex mode um, it can also be the size of my brush here if you hold the B key uh, you can change the size of the brush because this is literally a, like a paintbrush tool so you need to have uh, an area of influence but you can actually paint in the vertices and again if I rotate around it's not going to select the other side with this particular tool so uh, it won't do that now if I go into what's called wireframe mode as I paint through it'll paint through the other side uh, eventually if I go on no actually it won't go on the other side so uh, this tool just doesn't want to go through period um, the other tools though the lasso tool will allow you to go all the way through whether you're in wireframe or shaded solid mode and so will the uh, regular selection tool you know basically as you drag across here so unless you change those options again those options you can double click on the tool to bring it out and uh, I like to leave the standard marquee selection you can always click reset tool to bring it back um, that should bring it back to here if we have it to drag nope for some reason it doesn't want to do it usually it, it allows you to reset the tool um, but usually it's the marquee selection with um, camera based selection unchecked and so that you can basically drag through the object. Um, this is sort of the default sort of settings here. So uh, that is an overview of the selection tools in Autodesk Maya. Again, and then in future tutorials will cover uh, the other tools, the uh, rotate, uh, scale, and move tools, also known as the transform tools. So until next time, see you soon in Autodesk Maya. Cheers.